Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I want to invite you into our kitchen to join me as I make dinner. For today's video, I dreamt up a little fall pasta dish. Now you could make this with homemade pasta. I do have a tutorial here on my channel and on the blog on homemade einkorn pasta. It, it really is easy but I don't have that kind of time today in the kitchen, actually. We are going this evening to get our new van. As you know, if you follow along, we are expecting our seventh child, and we can't fit them all in our Honda Odyssey. We can fit as many kids as we have, which is six, with no room to spare. And so we are actually heading down to the city tonight to pick up our new van. And so with that, I'm going to just be using a box of einkorn pasta. I'm going to roast butternut squash, get some fresh sage, saute some pine nuts, cook some bacon. I just have this idea for this creamy butternut squash, which could also be pumpkin. I'll explain how in a little bit. Pasta dish, and we'll see how it comes together. I might add a little bit of something I'm not thinking. Just getting creative in the kitchen tonight to make a nice pasta dish that we can all eat quickly before heading down to get our new van. I'm going to get some butternut squash roasting in the oven. This will give a nice fall element to this pasta. Today's video is brought to you by Made In Cookware. As you know, in my kitchen, I use a few things. I use cast iron a lot. I use a little copper and I use some stainless steel as well. I like to select products that have durability and will last me forever in the kitchen, which is why I do stick with these materials. Now, Made In Cookware is designed to last forever. The founders of Made In were inspired by their 100 year family history in kitchen supply. They wanted to provide the best raw materials sourced from multi-generational family owned manufacturers here in the US, France, UK, and Italy to build these really superior, long lasting products. Personally, I like to keep a small collection of stainless on hand for certain applications like boiling, steaming, sauteing. Their kitchenware is used in multiple three Michelin star restaurants. The frying pans are what some of the top professional chefs use. I love that the handle is designed to stay cool on the stove top and it's made in a way that it stays nice and balanced. I love the made in the USA aspect of this company. They offer free shipping, free returns, and a 45 day, no questions asked trial period where you can check out the products and see if they are right for you in your kitchen. Their stainless steel frying pans are what actually put them on the map. Those are what I have here today. I have the 10 inch and 12 inch but they also have a much larger collection of stainless steel on their website. I love that these pans will last me a lifetime. They'll be the only stainless saute pans I'll ever have to buy. You can snag your own made in cookware for 15% off with my code farmhouse by clicking the link in the description box below. So for this meal, I'm going to toast some pine nuts here in the smaller pan. It will lend that nice nutty flavor to my pasta dish that I think will really complement it well and add a little bit of crunch. See that these pine nuts are a excellent source of iron, which is really good for me right now. I actually never updated you all with my pregnancy. My iron is really good. So the, I'm gonna assume the bee pollen is what did it, because I've only been taking natural iron and in pregnancies past, I couldn't just take natural forms of iron, but some of you told me on here that when you're low in copper, you can't really absorb iron properly. And so I've been taking bee pollen for that and my iron was like way high, not like too high, but way high for what I've ever experienced before. All right, I'm just gonna get these pine nuts 
going here in my 10 inch stainless. Again, I like that these don't tip back. It's really nice. I'm just looking for a little bit of color on these pine nuts. I'm not adding any oil, just heat and stirring. Right next up, I'm gonna get a puree going here. Kind of like pumpkin puree, but with butternut squash. This is for my creamy pumpkin pasta sauce, but it's gonna be butternut squash because I got so many of these on sale that I need to use them up. And so they really act very similarly in recipes. going to get some bacon going here in my larger frying pan and then I'm gonna make my sauce right in this so I can toss my pasta in this larger maiden frying pan I'm gonna probably reserve a little bit of bacon grease for it as well because it will add some additional good flavor One of the benefits of having our own dairy cow is fresh cream and milk, which is gonna make this sauce even more delicious. I love the way that the liquid in this recipe that sweats from the onions and then the cream completely deglazes the pan. So there's nothing stuck from the bacon. It's all just clear now and I'm gonna give it a quick blend and then toss my pasta together and top it with some fresh sage and parmesan. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon, some pepper, and some salt to taste, and then toss in my pasta. roasted butternut squash are really sweet and delicious. I'm just gonna toss them in. And I've been snacking on these toasted pine nuts. They're so good and toasty. All the bacon in here. Fresh parm. And we're gonna go right up of my window box and grab some sage. Mm, so good. 
This has all the flavors of fall and I'm really excited to eat it. All right, well thank you so much for watching this video. I don't know about you, but I am pretty inspired by fall cooking. It really is the coziest and most delicious time to cook in my opinion. Summer's great as well, obviously but I love the flavors of fall. Again, make sure that if you're looking for cookware that will last you a lifetime that is made in the USA, to check out the link down in the description box below for made in cookware as well as using the code farmhouse for 15% off. If you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.